Hey everybody, for a recent project, I needed to have some call-outs for my videos. So DaVinci Resolve was certainly the answer. Everything that you need is built right into Resolve, into the free version and the studio version. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. I've got an aerial video here up in my media pool. If you don't have any media, you can just drag and drop it right onto your timeline from Finder and Mac or from Windows Explorer. What I want to do is focus in on a little area here just to provide you an example of how we can make a call out. So I'm going to go ahead and right click on this video. Go ahead and click open in fusion page. Go ahead and select your media and shift space bar. And I'm going to type in track. So select the tracker here and hit add. And so now it's built into our node tree here. Make sure your timeline is all the way on the left side here. And so this tracker you can see is right here. And to move it, I'm going to just grab it here by the upper left corner. There we go. And I want to see a little bit better here. So I'm going to use my hold down my control button and my wheel mouse. Just zoom in and use this bottom right to kind of highlight the area that you want to track. And this overlap, you can do the same thing. Just get a little overlap there. All right, so starting at the left part of the timeline, I'm gonna hit this button here. So that's gonna scrub through all the footage. I'll zoom in here so you can see what it's doing. So that finished in 18 seconds, that's pretty good. I'll zoom back out here a little bit. You can see that track there, it has all these points. It's created keyframes for, and I'm gonna have the tracker now selected. Let's open the effects library now. And go down here to edit templates. Go ahead and open this and go to titles. And you'll see this call out here. This is what's built into Resolve. And I'm going to put the output into the foreground of the tracker, which is the little green triangle. And so now we have tracker text we can't see yet. Make sure the tracker is selected. And go over here to operation. We're going to change this to match move. So now you can see the, uh, the text there. I'm going to move this timeline over to the far left again so we can get to the start here. I'm going to zoom in a bit. And we're not seeing it yet, actually, so I want to move it over a little bit here because it takes a minute to animate that. So go ahead and select a call out. And let's type something in. And we can change our font if we'd like here. And we can change the color. I want to go with some contrast. So let's go dark blue. And also that pointer, I want to do the same thing, like a dark blue, because this is all white. So you can see my tracker is underneath this. I'm going to move this text. You can use the on-screen controls, or you can do it right here. And this line position, same thing. You can use the on-screen, or you can use this little line position here. And so let me find my point here. It's right there. So I want to get that right on that point there. That's pretty good. And move my text up here above the horizon a bit. Okay, so if you want to make this more of a circle, you can just change these point corners here. I'll go ahead and do that. So now this thing's going to appear and it's going to point to that location that we track there. So let's jump back to the edit page. And it's going to take just a few seconds to render all that, but this is what it's going to look like when it's finished. So you can see that tracks really well. We can use this for a variety of different projects to highlight things and point things out to our viewers, which is really awesome. Everything's built right into Resolve 17 into the free version and the studio version. So really simple to put together. So hopefully that was very helpful for you guys. If you have any questions about trackers or about creating callouts for your videos, go ahead and post them in the comments and I'll try to get those answered for you. Uh, take a second to subscribe to the channel. I appreciate that. Take care, everybody.